Hello everyone. Today is day 21 of my 30 day SQL query challenge. And the problem that I have taken today is from Strata Scratch. And the problem name is popular post. Now this is a hard level problem. And it was I think asked during a Google interview. Okay. Now we have the problem statement here. We'll read that in some time. But before that, let us see the two tables that we need to use the user sessions and the post views. Okay. Now this is the user sessions table. You can see that we have the session ID, user ID, session start time, session end time and the platform. So this table basically has information about the different sessions, different users have logged in and which time they logged in and which time they logged out and on which platform they used it. Okay. This is what the user sessions table has. Then there is a second table, which is the post views table, which has the session ID, the post ID and the percentage viewed. It basically means in different sessions, which post the user was viewing and for how long did he view that particular post. Okay. Now what you see here is basically the percentage. So in the session one, the post one was viewed 2% of the time. So if the whole session was for, let's say one minute, so 2% of that one minute was spent viewing this particular post. Okay. That is post one. I hope you understand. Now let's go back to the problem statement so that we understand what we need to do. The column percentage viewed in the table post views denotes the percentage of session duration time the user spent viewing a post. Okay. This is exactly what I explained now. Using it, calculate the total time that each post was viewed by users. Output the post ID and the total weaving time in seconds, but only for post with the total weaving time of over five seconds. Okay. Now, if I go and check for the output, this one, you can see that they're basically telling the post four was viewed for 5.1 seconds and post two was viewed for 24 seconds. Okay. Now there are some other posts as well, which were viewed if you look at the data in the table, but we are only looking for those posts which were viewed for over five seconds. So I hope you understand the problem statement. Now what you can do is you can download this problem statement and the data set from my blog and as well as from my discord server and try to solve it on your own. Okay. Now, if someone does not have access to strata scratch, what I have done is I have basically copied the same problem into an Excel file. So you can see the problem statement in this particular file as well. Okay. And the data set is available in my blog. Okay. Now I will be solving it in two different databases. First of all, I'm going to show you my solution in PostgreSQL database, and then I'll show you the solution in SQL server database. Okay. Now in PostgreSQL, you can see that I have already created the two tables. Okay. So if I just run this again, I have the user sessions table with all the data 11 uh, session IDs are present here, and I have all the post views. Okay. There are totally 14 records. Now, if I try to understand this, so here I have different sessions in each session, which were the post that were viewed and for how long they were viewed. And in the first session, I have the session information and I have the time information from which time till which time the session was active, right? So first and foremost is I need to join these two tables and I can easily see that I have this joining column session ID, right? So what I'll do is I'll just move this to the right. I'll give an alias for this like yes. And I'll join this with the post views table. I'll call it like, let's say post P and I need to join it using the session ID. So P dot session ID equal to yes dot session ID. Okay. And let me just fetch the fields that I need. I need all the fields from the post table. And then from the session table, I'm only interested in the start and the end time. I'm not interested in the user ID. I'm not interested in the platform and session ID is already taken from the post table. So here I'll just tell session start time comma session and time. If I run this, now you can see that I am basically getting all the information that I need to basically solve this problem. Now the main aim of this problem is I need to know each post was viewed for how long in seconds. That means the first thing I need to do is the session start and end time that I have using this, I need to first of all convert this into seconds so that I know each session was open for how many seconds? Since I'm in PostgreSQL, I can just subtract the session end time with the start time because this is the timestamp field and I will get the interval. So if I run this, you can see that I'm getting the interval and this is basically telling zero hours, one minute, 40 seconds. So that this session that you see here, the session one was basically open for just one minute and 40 seconds. Same way, if I go to the second session, it was open only for 10 seconds 
and the third session that you see here was open for five minutes so that should be 30 seconds right now what you see here is an interval so it's basically separating the hour minute and second but what i want is i want to transform all of this into seconds right now in postgresql if you have a timestamp field and you want to fetch the whole value in seconds one way of doing that is just by using the extract function so i will say extract epoch and then from this fields okay so i'll just subtract i'll just mention this whole thing here okay so i'll just put this into the inside the parenthesis and i'll put it here and this whole thing is going to be total time okay and now if i just run this you can see that now i'm getting the total time so now you can see that this one minute 40 seconds is basically shown as 100 seconds 10 seconds is 10 seconds whereas this five minutes is 300 seconds okay and this is exactly what i wanted now using this I can probably try to find out how many seconds did each post was viewed. Okay. So first of all, I don't need this. I will remove that. Okay. And I have only the total seconds that I need. The next thing that I'll do is I'll just move this into a CT so that my query can become more readable. So CTE as, and I'll just move this to the right. Okay. And then here I'll just tell select star from CT. Okay. Now, the next thing that I need to do is in this field percentage viewed, what I see here is a percentage value. I need to convert this percentage value into the actual value, right? Now, I can easily do that by saying percentage viewed. If you have known how to convert percentage into a value, you would know that you generally divide that percentage value by 100 and then you multiply the whole thing by the total value. That is my total value is 100 here, uh, basically the total time field, right? I'll just put that here. Hopefully, okay, I have to multiply this. Hopefully, this should give my total time. Okay, so now I think this is actually my total time or basically I can name this like total view time. Okay, if you see here, post one was viewed for 2% of the session time. 2% of the session time is 100 seconds. So, 2% of 100 seconds is 2 seconds. Okay, what you see here is basically in seconds Okay, in this field. So 4% of 100 second is 4 second, right? Same way, let's say 20% of 10 seconds is basically 2 seconds. Same way, let's say if I go into this one, okay, 50% of 20 seconds is 10 seconds. So basically what you get here in the last column is the actual time in seconds each post was viewed. Now, if you see in this table, you could see that different users would have seen the same post so user one has seen the same post for some time user two also has seen the post one for some time right so i need to sum all of them together because my result is based on each post so what i'll do is i'll just tell group by post id okay and then i don't need all the other fields so i'll say post id and then here since i need to basically sum together all of this uh, values or the total time the post has seen i can just use the sum aggregate function so i'll say sum and then this whole thing inside the sum and i think that's all now if i run it you can see that i'm already getting for each post for how long the post were viewed right now from here i'm only interested in those posts which were viewed for more than five seconds right so from here i can in order to filter this group data because what i get here is after the grouping so if i have to filter the group data i need to use the having clause and not the where clause and here i can just tell where some of this whole thing is greater than five if i run this the post four was viewed for 5.1 seconds the post two was viewed for 24 seconds and this is exactly the output that i wanted now this is the solution in postgresql now let's say if you're using some other database in that case some of these functions would not be supported right and that is why i want to show you this solution in sql server as well now in sql server again i have created the two tables the same two tables and the query that i used in postgresql the same query will work in sql server the only thing is extract is not supported in sql server right so if i run this query it is going to tell me that extract is not recognized right so instead of extract i have another built-in function that i can use and that is date diff okay in date diff function the first argument i can say yes yes stands for seconds because i want to fetch the seconds and then i need to pass the two uh, time okay the time field so first of all i'll pass i think here i need to pass the start time first okay 
else I'll get the negative values. And then the third argument will be the end time. Okay. Now if I run this and let me just comment out this and if I let me just run this one. You can see that I am getting the value, but I did not give a column name here. So let me just copy this column name and put it here and I'll remove this extract. I don't need that. And now if I run the inner query here, the sub query, it's I'm getting the time in seconds. And then if I run the whole query, you can see that I'm getting the same output. So the query is the same. The only thing in PostgreSQL, I use the extract function in SQL in, in SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, I'm using the date diff function. If you're using MySQL or Oracle or some other, then you will need to find the alternative function which does the same thing. Okay, so this is basically the solution for today's problem. I hope you liked it and I'll see you tomorrow again with another interesting problem. Bye.